Get yourself some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channels. Make sure to go and get your up to 12 free fractional shares by downloading Weeble and funding your account. This video is energized by Celsius Energy. It's a healthier alternative to the energy drinks out there. It'll give you a 15% discount. It brings each can down to like $1.25, so it's a steal. So Silver recently hit an 11-year high. Not only did it surpass $30 per troy ounce, but it surpassed $32 per troy ounce. The highest in 11 years. Unbelievable. Now, I don't talk about silver all that much on my channel anymore because I've kind of exhausted the topic. I've said dang near everything that there is to say about precious metals in general. So, you know, why repeat myself a million times? Why not, you know, explore other topics, real estate, business, stocks, whatnot? So, when it comes to silver, I personally started stacking, and I also have a chart right here. Hopefully, you're going to be able to see it. It's on my phone. I have this chart where it says that on May 20th, 2024, so just like two weeks ago as I'm filming this video, silver went as high as $32.45. Again, I don't know if you're really going to be able to see it, but either way, silver surpassed the $32 per troy ounce mark, which is kind of to some degree unbelievable, but also at the same time, it makes perfect sense. But the interesting thing about silver and gold is that they tend to perform more. They tend to do better. They tend to uh, make people become bullish when <laughs> everything else in the world is looking pretty bearish. And if you take a step back and take an objective, rational stance, and you look at the world and look at what's going on. You put your opinions to the side. You put your political nonsense, skewed view on reality to the side. And you take a look around, and you'll very quickly come to the conclusion that this world is, is a disastrous circus. <laughs> uh, you know, if you listen really closely, like if you take a second to just shut up, you can actually hear some circus music playing in the background. And our current president, our former president, and every single president of the past have been the ringleaders, I guess you can say. And guess what? The next president's going to be the ringleader as well. The current guy's a moron. The last guy's a moron. The next guy's going to be a moron. There's no such thing as a good politician in, as far as I'm concerned. Silver tends to do better when there's danger afoot, <laughs> we'll say. I mean, look at the last two years. We've been dealing with a lot of high inflation. We have seen interest rates go up and not come down. We have seen uh, a massive giant war breakout about two years ago. Another massive giant war breakout this year. We see a lot of issues. But silver tends to do a little bit better, same with gold by the way, when there's a lot of uncertainty in the world. I mean, there's a lot of uncertainty right now. There's a massive amount of uncertainty every four years here in America, which by the way trickles onto every other aspect of the world. An election year. We don't know who's going to win. We don't know what's going to happen. If so-and-so wins, there's a lot of uncertainty. Oh my god, this guy is going to be you know, really bad when it comes to raising taxes. Oh, this guy is going to be really bad on everything in the world except for raising taxes. Like, there, there are, there's a lot of uncertainty. There's a lot of fear. There's a lot of doubt. There's a lot of confusion. There's a lot of shakiness right now. There's a lot of inconsistency. There's a lot of volatility. There's a lot of nerves going through the world right now on just that topic alone. But not only that, like I had mentioned before, there are multiple wars going on in the world right now. We have higher inflation than we've seen in, 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 in I can't even tell you how long. We have a lot going on right now. And I'm just kind of highlighting some of the negatives right now. There are far more positives than negatives. Right now, like there are so many massive opportunities in front of us, which I have been explaining 
for several years now in all of my videos. This video is just more so geared towards the precious metals and the precious metals, kind of the, the way it is with precious metals, bad news is good news. So I'm highlighting the bad news because that bad news typically means good news for silver and gold. I've always referred to precious metals as like kind of a slow burn. There's not really, like, like if you're diving into precious metals and if you're going to be picking up the silver, picking up the gold, you shouldn't be expecting massive returns, especially in the short term. You should be fully aware, fully conscious that silver and gold, precious metals, underperform pretty much every single other asset class. I mean, over the last decades and decades and decades, even, like, Little cardboard Pokemon cards blow silver and gold out of the water. Silver and gold is not something you should be acquiring, purchasing, or stacking if you are looking to build massive wealth. If you're looking to build massive wealth, you should be starting a business, you should be buying into broad market index funds, and you should be doing everything in your power to buy property. That's how you build wealth. Silver and gold is not for wealth building. Silver and gold is for wealth preservation. Once you've already had wealth built up, you can turn to silver and gold to preserve what you built. That is the point of stacking silver and gold. It's not for massive returns. It's not for massive gains. It's not for getting rich, especially not getting rich quick. Now, am I one of those conspiratorial, end of the world, doomsday type of people? No. I'm actually bullish on the future. I, you know, I, I know there are a lot of people out there who say, oh, you know, everything in the world's going to go to zero except for silver. You're, you're going to die without silver. No. I disagree with that. I don't even think you need silver. But, or gold. But, here's what I will say. I think we're going to be just fine. And I think we're going to make not only a full recovery... I think we're going to make that full recovery and then we're just going to keep on climbing up and I think we're going to see even more success, especially if you are not being reliant on any particular entity or, or putting all of your hopes and dreams and all of your faith into your one particular paycheck from your job. I think if you are building multiple streams of income, you are investing in multiple asset classes, precious metals being one of those asset classes. I think silver and gold are better to have than to not have, even if they underperform all the other asset classes. I think you're going to be better off with it than without it in the long run. I'm talking decades into the future. Get yourself some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channels. Make sure to go and get your up to 12 free fractional shares by downloading Weeble and funding your account. This video is energized by Celsius Energy. It's a healthier alternative to the energy drinks out there. It'll give you a 15% discount. It brings each can down to like $1.25. So it's a steal 